Rita. Um, okay, who is Rita? What is Rita all about? I have no idea. Uh, Rita, okay, UX, UI designer. I'm UI, UX designer. I'm passionate about creating usable digital products. I've worked with incredibly talented people across different companies. Okay, so I would say this needs work. Why does this need work? So on one hand, at least we know that Rita is a UX UI designer, but then immediately below it says, I'm a UX designer. So I'm questioning, what does Rita do? Does Rita do user, or user research, uh, content strategy? Does Rita do like detailed user flows and wireframes and things like that? Is Rita more of the visual side of things? Rita is going to make pixel perfect designs that we can give to a developer or is Rita going to make design systems or is Rita going to draw icons by hand and I mean like illustrate them um, and things like that. So Rita, my challenge to you is come up with a more succinct and clear statement of who you are and what you do. Because just in the first two sentences here, I'm like, wait a minute, you said UX UI and now we're talking and then you say just UX. Um, this I'm passionate about creating usable digital products. To me, that just sounds so vague and a little cliche, to be honest. Phrases like, I wanna create products people love. I wanna create products that solve real world problems. I wanna make products that improve people's life. It's like, isn't that kind of what we all want to do? It's like, it's kind of like an architect saying, I wanna design houses that are nice for people to live in. Like. No architect wants to make a house that's not nice to live in, right? So try and come up with kind of a more original thing to say there. Are you passionate about certain industries? Um, I don't know, let's find out. Okay, and you've worked with incredibly talented people across different companies. Again, very vague. I think instead, could you talk about maybe the different industries you've worked in? But this, again, very vague. If I'm reading this, I get I get like no value out of this because it wasn't super detailed. So that would be my feedback on that. So I would say it needs work. What type of projects has Rita worked on? So uh, I guess I'm expecting to see research and user flows and wireframes and detailed interface design because Rita says UX UI. So we are seeing looks like some UI stuff here, redesign. Internet of Things medical project, Internet of Things app for coffee foam printer. That's interesting, okay. And Paw Patrol, I can't read that text. So think about white text on black. Um, we can contact Rita, so great, that's amazing. Um, I, I'm gonna say for what types of projects, I'm gonna say that's good because Rita, I think you could, um, improve your homepage by adding more information about each project. If you uh, are watching later on, go back and rewind a little bit and look at some of the other ones because other people did a great job at providing more information. I don't, I'm wondering just a little pet peeve, but also why does this need to zoom in like that? Could it just get darker? Does, do we need the motion? Um, I just find motion very distracting. And what is the purpose of it? I understand it's indicating it's clickable, but we have the hand and maybe just getting darker or something is good enough. Um, then again, don't spend five hours trying to fix that. Okay, let's click into one of them. Let's click into the um, coffee foam printer thing. Okay, so. Okay, I think um, we could come up with a better title for this. So Internet of Things app for foam printer. Okay, so what were you doing? Were you doing user research? Were you doing visual design? Were you doing user flows? Were you doing experience design? What were you doing within this? So could you say user research and interact interactive prototype for um, ripples? See the difference? That's a much clearer title. So I like good job of using an image at the top to kind of get my interest and make me curious about this. Um, 
it's kind of weird that like the navigation all disappears once we're into a project because now if I get bored or distracted, I have to click the back button. Um, maybe this is how UX Folio works. I don't know, but I think it's a much better user experience if there was the navigation there and it's consistent. Like um, back to the homepage, was there navigation? Yeah, it just, it's weird. I would think there should be navigation. Um, let's scroll down. So next we are going to scroll up and down and just get a sense of what this was. So Ripples is printing images and messages onto foam. Okay, so I don't know if this is a real thing you did because you worked there. Is this something you did for a class? I'm not sure. You talked about a manager. I'm gonna guess it was a real world project. Same comments apply. I don't think we always need these little one or two word titles. Why not just have this sentence be in this font and then it's kind of standing out to me. Um, we're creating more hierarchy with font sizes and it helps in, with readability and things like that. So you had the checks. You had a task to change UX and UI of the current app. Okay, well, let's get more specific what specific tasks within the product were we working on? Was it the actual printing? Was it the onboarding? I don't know. So let's keep going. Also, how long was this? That may be a good detail. So we're seeing onboarding um, over at the left. Is this the current version? Is this the old version? Um, so the we're seeing the challenge here. You're talking about it. Um, there was boring long text instruction on how to use the machine. So I still don't know. I'm guessing maybe this was the solution. Can you show us the before? So you're telling us about this part of the product, the onboarding. So get created user flow. Okay, so next looks like this is where you are making a drink and printing something on it. Um, so you were trying to simplify it because it's the main flow of the whole product. And it's three steps. So what, again, what was this before? Um, it's always amazing to show the before and after because we get so much more uh, context into uh, how your solution improved that product. Um, Let's see here. See the challenge to show it all in one screen. So I'm guessing previously there was multiple screens. That would be really interesting to, to see. These are very small. Can you make them bigger? Um, especially if it's a core of the product, right? Um, so then getting into the app. So mood. Okay, so it looks like this is kind of part of the brand. Okay, so that's where it ends. I would say I wish we were seeing more of your process. I wish we were hearing more about uh, the previous version um, and what you did to arrive at that. Were there wireframes? Were there user flows? Did you do research? Did you go watch people try and you know, use the old version of this? You've kind of um, fallen into the trap, at least on this project, uh, kind of just going right to the what and not showing us how you arrived at this solution. Um, so I would really encourage you to think about going deeper into your UX process and what you did on this. Um, that's all I have to say about that.